Hello and welcome to another video. Ooh. Checking in now because lost uh, off the beaten track. Speaking of off the beaten track, I'm here with none of a backtrack. Backtrack. Uncle Backtrack McGee. He's out. He's out with us, aren't you? Joseph Von Backtrack McGee. Look at that. Cuts a fine figure, that actually. Right, that is a good. That's probably some, that's probably the best thing some people have seen in 2024. I mean, cover of Outdoors magazine territory, or I'm more of like a, a poster on a lamppost. Watch <laughs> out, <laughs> either missing or watch out for this guy. That's so, nice now, oh, it's nice. lovely. Look, as the sun comes out, it's our first adventure of the new year, 2024. We've plotted a route on my phone. This walk. Here, that, uh, ooh, that's around about nine miles so uh, and I've, we've got all the bushcraft gear as well <laughs> we've got a mixture of bushcraft gear and hiking gear hike craft uh, back we're calling it back crafting where you backpack you put some good miles in but you've got your saws and your steaks and your things to cook with and and all that sort of stuff so the plan is to just explore we've got a nine mile we're already off our off our plotted route but we've got a nine mile circular loop and as we go we're gonna forage for some mushrooms oh, see what we can find the goal is before it gets dark to find the perfect camp spot oof, where we can get a fire going and we're uh, we're pretty sheltered and then we can do some relaxing and I'll let you see my new tent. Stay tuned. It already wet foot. Found someone's bushcraft shelter. Dustin, Mike. <laughs> it's a decent shelter. They have used nails in wood and stuff. What I don't like is they've smashed. They've like it's like they've maybe hammered a nail into here to keep the thing. Because you see, you see it's leaking all the sap out of it, so it's injured there. Also, there's no need to leave it here. Tricky one, isn't it? It's a is tricky it, one. Is it better to have somewhere and just come here and only have you know only affect this one little spot, or is it better to take it down and move somewhere else? I think. I think be nomadic because yeah. if everybody thinks like this, you're gonna have these popping up everywhere, aren't you? Yeah. Because everyone will want their own little individual Not fair one. Fair enough, have a go at it. Have yeah. Fun of building it, then take it down. As kids, we've all done it. We started doing it when we were young. Didn't you build shelters in woods and stuff, and it's it's a buzz. Yeah. But I think as you get older, you sort of realise like ah, uh, if it's if it's your own wood, fine. But if it's public wood, then people are gonna see it then. It's maybe not cool to leave it there. You could just take it to bits and just stash the wood yeah. somewhere. And then when you come back, it ain't going to take long. There's a couple of you, just knock it back up again. Mixed feelings. Yeah. Mixed feelings about it. What do you think? Put in the comments below. That's I, don't, I don't mind a fire pit in some cases as well. But again, I, I don't really want to see it. But I like the fact, you know, I like the idea of just having it in one place, not affecting, you know, having loads of patches of fire pits. Yeah. But... I yeah, agree. Leaving it like that is a little bit too much, maybe. They do it in Canada and stuff, don't they? They just have designated yeah. fire pits so you can. That's that where you're having right, it. Yeah, that, I get it. It's just too much. A part of me thinks, ah, oh, that's cool. It's it's a, it's away from the path. They're not hurting anyone, and whoever's done it, it's not like they they've not left litter, and they've yeah. not damaged too much of the surrounding area. They obviously know what they're doing, yeah, yeah. so you can't begrudge them that. So I think we'll let them off. Let's demolish it. <laughs> Where, where, are we going to nail our flag to any particular? I think if it's public wood, then we can't. And I've done it before where I've built full shelters like this, like proper like raised beds and everything. I've slept in it, and the next day it all goes back as, and leave no trace. And I think that's the essence of bushcraft. You just use it and then leave it like you found it. And there's something magical about it. You've used everything. It's sprung up out of the ground. You've used it, and then it goes back to where it's come from. And you don't have... Add up find that particularly like an eyesore I think it looks quite cool but 
you know, it, it, you do go to some woodlands, especially where I am now down south, and there's just like, there's just loads of them dotted about, and it just takes the edge off a little bit, it takes the edge off the wildness. I suppose you could almost uh, see it in the sense of a bothy, if, people, if it was just free to use for everyone. That's a good idea, yeah. You know, it's like the idea of a very low impact bothy. Yeah. You could come, you know it's there, you could come and use it, add to it, in yeah. that sense, maybe that's a way. If it's like a communal bushcraft thing, maybe you should have an app that has all like yeah. that's for bushcrafters, and you put your your dens and your shelters. Because let's be honest, they're just dens, aren't they? <laughs> on the app, and then people can use them when they're in the area. Add to it. Not a bad idea. Yeah, I've got one in the living room that kids have made with a blanket and a couple of chairs. I get that on the internet. Get that on the internet. Clothes off, <laughs> sheet of at top, and you just have. Missus comes in and there's just some hairy guy with a foot, like, <laughs> all in, like, army gear. I've got wood burner as well. Who's Can that? It. Oh, it's, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Gary off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it, it, it's like, Cast yeah. Iron Kevin 352 off, <laughs> off YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, thoughts? Put them down below. Let's get a discussion going. What do you think about leaving bushcraft shelters in the wild? You can talk about it if you want, I don't know. Right, crack on. Come on. My bag is heavy. We've got saws and axes and knives and what's he seen oh another one <laughs> another little bushcraft shelter up there lean to of sorts oh go on then Weaving. my lord might max it out <laughs> oh my word oh, that, dude i'm snapping that my bag weighs about twice as much as joe's i could be videoing this and no. i i've been on cheese this i've been on cheese this christmas like and if this if this snaps, <laughs> I'm dedicating this one to Bree. <laughs> oh, maximum. He's done it. <coughs> Woo! <laughs> Gotta film it though in case you stack a room, yeah. innit? You don't get better. You don't get better than this. Yeah, I'll film you going to No, it's round, mate. Oh, man. Has it jumped across? No. Uh, why? Because you want to see the. Oh, that doesn't feel good. Whoa! <laughs> <Bonsai. laughs> oh, look at that. There's just this break in the trees and it's absolutely beautiful. You can see the rain falling and the, the brown of the bracken mixed with the green of these evergreens it's it's just beautiful <laughs> i mean it's not very <laughs> happy habitable but cool nonetheless cool nonetheless I don't think you can do No, nah, it's full of water as well. You've seen people excavate these though, make a, like put something on the front and make like a house. Oh yeah, they do it in uh, Tenerife, in the northern Tenerife. Like dig back into the cliffs. Yeah, one man tent in there. Half of it. It's half of it top and you're in. We're off wherever he says, wherever his arrow points, that's where we're going. Where do you want to go? Oh. Wanna go that way? Trail that way? runner. That way. <laughs> guess guess the trail. Spin it, right? Yeah, you close your eyes. Ah. Done. Whichever Done. way you go. It is broke, it was already broke by I the way. We I didn't, didn't break that. We didn't break it, it was already broke. Yeah. The old fork in the road. The fork in the road. I think we'll go this way because there's water this way and it's, uh, it's nice to stick back water in it. <laughs> We're lost. Oh. We're lost. Right, we've come off road again, through no fault of our own, it's just sometimes on these maps it looks like it's a track and 
as you can see here it's just been chopped down and mucked with and there is no path so we just sort of plotted in a straight route as the crow flies and we're just following it as best we can for all this off-road stuff you don't have sap here when you've got big bag on i'll be interested to know how much my bag weighs it's heaviest bag i've ever hiked in with <laughs> oh, we're lost that is, that is dense but this is not easy walking is it roll it wow quite impressive yes <laughs> that's exercise for there that's a chunk that i need to make an armchair out of that yeah ah, we're doing some, some graft we keep going off off piste putting some graft in shout out to that lad we've just seen chilling by some water doing his first solo hike and wild camp best of luck to you mate 10 to 2 which means we've got less than two hours light we're going to look for somewhere perfect that's there's plenty of dead standing wood maybe near a water source flat ground because we're both ground dwelling this evening and just somewhere aesthetically pleasing where we can have a fire and we're out at way a bit very wet foot Whew. we're off the beaten track again and here we are at this beautiful look at that opens up lovely and we're looking for a place to camp but as you can see it's just soaking and it would be no fun pitching a tent in this or uh, trying to get a fire going or anything so the search continues another thing that, to consider is yeah it's dry in amongst the pines but then using pine wood for fires isn't the best and we've got some steaks we want to slow cook and oh <gasps> medrick <gasps> mushies <gasps> it's been killed by mushies look they've taken over its brain that's cool. Yeah. Imagine that, like as a tattoo. Look at mate, that, yeah. With mushrooms growing out. Of... Look, it stinks a bit. Look at the mushrooms growing yeah. out of this guy's head. So got a bit of meat on it. I think I've got some um, compedes in the bag. I can put one. We might sort him out. <laughs> might pull him round. Yeah. I've got a bit of cocoa. Don't we? In another lifetime, I'd have had that, but. It's still a bit smelly. Yeah, that's a cool thing though, you draw it like It's so cool. Yeah. Where's the rest of that big sheep? And what took out that sheep? That's it. I think we found our... Yeah. We don't want to be in there because there's a lot of deadfall. <laughs> <laughs> that is the most deadfall I've seen <laughs> ever. Yeah, that is... It's like, that is... Um, domino rally. Yeah, that. that's mousetrap. We don't want to be in there. Nice. I mean, it's one of them, like, you could keep going and it does... There's more on the other side, but I feel like this is open enough. Yeah. So we've got light, we've got some lovely views of the trees. Yeah. We're out at where there's flat bits. Take that out with us. Ah. Leave no trace. Look how blended in with ground that is, man. <laughs> you can hardly even see it. It's mad, isn't it? It's like the perfect colour for it. Yeah. So Joe is in. That looks different. Oh, it's the pro, isn't it? Yeah. Joe's in the Lanshan 2 Pro and that's him set up for the night. He didn't Good night, need to do anything else. He just Good crawls night. under there. I'll demo. Have a quick demo. <laughs> there we go. And there it gone. Wait, Joe? Joe's it? I'm scared. Dude, you wouldn't even know you were there, man. That is genuinely like... <laughs> Camouflaged. It's the uh, my new tent look. Fox One V Two OEX. Eighty quid. Eighty quid. Let's see how she fares. I mean, I'll do a proper review on it, I think. But I just thought, as a as a as a one man bushcraft tent, that you don't mind if it gets a little bit battered about a bit. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna give it a go anyway. I'll report back. She's the Fox One. Quite low profile, quite stealth. I've just put some sticks under guy lines so that it keeps this flap even further up for ventilation. 
and then it has a, a little flap there as well for ventilation it's one door but on the internal it's got two doors so that you can utilize all this area to put your clobber and obviously it's not a tent that you're gonna get in there and be getting changed and doing all your, your bits and pieces it's just for sleeping in but at 1.6 kgs and 80 English pounds absolute bargain mate I've got my uh, Neoair Xtherm, my Ascent 900 Rab, and then I've just got my quilt, my Big Agnes quilt on top as well. Oh, also, uh, while I'm on, this is the last straw, I'm afraid. Trekology pillows, I have championed these for a long time, saying that they're great, but <clears throat> recently, every single one I get just shits itself and shits itself when I really need it so and it's not just a puncture because I don't mind repairing that it's things on valve and I don't know mate they're just they've just been letting me down too much so this is the last time I'll be using Trekology pillows on here we're gonna uh, we're gonna go on to something else I think I'll go back to me uh, decathlon thing that Joe's got they're mint and then look inside I mean, I'm gonna do it. I'll do a little we'll have a proper look at this another time but there's a lot of mesh in there mesh down the bottom Plenty of space, pocket up the top. If you want to do like bushcraft camps and just keep it low profile, that is your one, isn't it? Cuts quite a fine figure as well in woods. And jaw, but then then you then you back up onto that and you're like, oh well, that's better, isn't it? And look at that, because we didn't think I can pull, so we've just used chopped two bits of timber down and we're using them instead, look and look at that man, look at all the space in there. Just and it's all mesh on the inside as well, so no bugs can get you, but super lightweight. Loads of room. You can sit up in it, you can even like get changed in there. Absolutely acres of outdoor space as well for your kit on both sides. Brilliant stuff. Well yeah. you consider how expensive like hooped bibbies are. And they look horrendous. Some of them hooped bibbies, like 200 quid. Yeah? Hooped bivvy chat. Some of them hooped bivvies are 200 quid. <laughs> hey, this is our new series, quid. just two Yorkshiremen <laughs> grumbling. 200 quid for an hooped bivvy, you can F off. I'm happy with this. 80 puns I paid for it. 80 puns, she was. Ah, that was a good one. I wouldn't pay a penny less for it. <laughs> Wait, I might, be, I might wake up absolutely no, drenched. But it, if if it was windy now, and if it was like, then that you'd just be comfier in there, wouldn't you? Cozier. Yeah, you're cozier, cozier in there. Whereas that that's gonna like draft under. It's gonna start like making noise. There's more wit, more surface for it to catch. But well, later I, on tonight, when oh, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. look it up. Look Mind it up. you, no, when it's cold though, you don't want that. You want to be. No, you don't. That's the winter tent. 80 quid, I'll leave a link below for it anyway, if you want to check it out, please do. Look at that stance, man. Look at a little leg on it. Like a stick insect. A stick insect sawing off its partner's head. Excellent work, and thank you very much. Deadly, aren't they, with all these... Oh, mate, that's one of the worst nightmares, catching your eye on one of them and just pops it out. Or tripping and just falling oh. in, like, three or four of them. Look at yeah, look at that bit. That's good. Oh, that's dense, man. Yeah, it feels nice, doesn't it? It feels dry and open. Yeah, that's good clobber. Collecting some of these nuggets, they smell so good. Just snap yeah. off, and that, that is just all... Oh. <laughs> it's like rocket fuel. All resin. It's best smelling stuff, isn't it's it? It's so delicious. Oh, oh that's good. Uh, so we'll use some of this to turbocharge the fire. Got our little bits, we've got our wood there that'll keep us going for quite a while. What we'll do is just utilise some of this pine and once it goes, it goes. You can hear it spitting. It smells absolutely delicious. And if, you know, in summer if you do this, it keep, keeps the bugs at bay. Oh man, it smells so good. Yeah. 
We're going for lazy man's fire. What we're doing is just, we've got three there, so it's not gonna get in the way of us, because Joe's sat there with his back rest against tree. I'm in me Helinox super lightweight chair. And then we can just feed these on as they burn. All three of these will just get fed on and then we'll replace them with these as we go. Spot on. And that's it man, it's about four o'clock now. So the light's fading. So this is us. Stunning. You going with four way? You pinning me in? Fair dues. There we are. Slow down a bit. We're just gonna slow down a bit now. We've been at, we've we've put in we, I mean we've not done a great hike. It's been maybe six and a half, seven miles we've done. But we've had more than the usual weight we have. But we've we've got we've carried a lot of stuff with us, so it's been nice. And now we're just gonna chill by the fire, drink some wine. We're gonna record a podcast as well, so that'll be out over on Patreon. If you wanna check it out, you, you can do here. That's the best way to support me if you want. Um, so we're gonna do a podcast and I'll bring you back when we start getting some food on. We just, every time we turn in the steak, we're putting some Yorkshire butter on it. And so that's just seeping into it. The carrots are slowly cooking. Garlic's probably there. Shallot's pretty much there. And then we're going to take the steak off, move these kazas up into the hot flames to finish them. Job done. I've got some oak chippings from um, some work I've been doing up van. So we've chucked oak chippings on the fire to give it a smoky, oaky flavour. Charred veg. We've had it under a bed of rosemary. A liberal portion of fresh English black truffles. <laughs> it's so big. Absolutely incredible. There you go. The steak has been cooked over the fire. We've put butter on it every turn. We've had rosemary. You see its own juices. We've got salt on there. And then it's just been covered in truffle. That guy. Mm. Yeah. A lovely little a compliment. Bit of onion. Mmm. That looks perfect. That's a steak. Cooked absolutely perfectly. Considering we've done that on an open flame, you can see we've got the char on the outside and then it's nice and pink and moist in the middle. That is perfect, man. I'm gonna try a bit of that actual meat. Yeah, mate. Give it a go. Mm. It's good. It's a big bit for the top. <laughs> yeah, all right, let me go in. I'm going in. Look at that. Mm. Oh, dude, that truffle butter just... Mm. Wow. <laughs> mm. That's crazy good. The end of the world at the palm of my hand And when it all goes to hell Will you still be my friend? My face to the sea And my back's to the light For stealth camping if you don't want to be seen if you want to keep a low profile but it keeps it all off you it's a lot better than a bivy because you've got all your headspace and it's got a door on the side but that just leads to 
like it, there's no door in the outer fly so you can just you've got to take your bags through the tent and put them on in there if you want and for 80 quid i think that's a bargain they also do a two-person version of this i'll put that downstairs as well check it out if you like but yeah gets my seal of approval i like it joe's in the old trusty land shanty look at that with wood used to support it instead of hiking poles which always looks mint palace that tent man it's an absolute palace in it it's absolutely huge <laughs> the size of it it just looks good though doesn't it it, it uh, blends in really well yeah that colour's good isn't it? yeah we're not hanging about today we're going to square away the tents deal with the fire and then make a move leave no trace as always square away the tents nothing left just a bit of flattened ground. Baltic. A couple of miles hike now through some lovely scenery. I'll bring you a little bit here and there. Bushcraft hiking, bushcraft. Multi-day hiking. It's the new thing. Well, it's a winter thing. All right, we're going to saddle up and make a move. Another glorious morning. Another glorious morning. Correcto. Wow. It's beautiful. Nice little find that. Nowhere to swim, but beautiful to look at and so unique. Yeah. Good stuff. A glorious winter sunshine. There's a squizzy just runs across. Oh, beautiful. Silhouette of a squirrel is the name of my new band. If you've stuck along this far, thanks. <laughs> and thanks for watching. <sighs> we'll be back soon, maybe with some long distance hiking in spring. We're gonna plan some some bigger adventures. That'll be coming soon. Take care of yourselves, it's the main thing, isn't it? Look after yourselves. Yes, and each other or yeah. just well, yourselves. Wow. Well. With permission, look after other people as well. But don't force permission. Yeah. Don't force it on anyone who's not ready for it. Don't just run up to some random person in the street and start looking after them. Looking after them. Just putting a cold tea towel on their forehead and <laughs> thermometer in the mouth or <laughs> up their butt. Whatever. So yeah, the main thing to take from this video is I always ask permission before you give people lem sip. Take care of yourselves. Much love. Bye for now. You want to slap it? It's it. Got my heart no. No, 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 no